Hey, I'm James Disciple Johnson, National President and Founder of Disciple Christian Motorcycle Club. But hey, I'm just an average Joe with a game plan for life. I started in drugs when I was 14, um, smoking pot. Uh, and then it, it led to coke and then meth and shrooms and pills and whatever. I had like an Altoids tin full of dope that I would leave the house with. Uh, and it was just, my life was about chasing women and drugs. I was in a motorcycle club at the end of the 90s uh, in Detroit where the motorcycle club wars were. And, uh, you know, got into it not knowing what I was getting into, uh, just for the brotherhood. One day, it was Sunday morning, you know, and I was chasing this guy. I knew he'd have more dope, man and this pickup truck, and, and I, I couldn't walk for three months. And uh, so I started going to church, like three and four times a Sunday. Got married, and you know, so sort of years later, my wife and I got motorcycles again um, in 2009. And I immediately fell in with the 1% clubs that were in the area, and, there, and, and got to know them, and um, you know, saw myself wanting to do that again. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, as I like to put it, I was part of the outlaw community. I belonged to an outlaw motorcycle club. I grew up in a predominantly Hispanic neighborhood, um, and I felt like I had one of two choices. I could I could be the token white boy in a in a Mexican gang, or I could find something else. Well, it happened to coincide with uh, a guy that lived two doors down from me. His brothers were coming back from the Korean War, and they were all bikers. And I found that I was kind of left alone. Um, when I hung out with the biker community. So at a very young age, I was, you know, handing wrenches and, and being their gopher and, and that sort of thing, um, and progressed into the outlaw uh, motorcycle clubs through that. Um, my, my job basically was to go from California to Texas running guns. Um, no waiting period in Texas, so I'd go in, get a load of guns, and take them back to California. Um, but alcoholism, drug addiction, uh, many years of my life was spent in that in that lifestyle. Uh, violence, just for no apparent reason. I had walked away from the the drugs and the alcohol, and it was one of the easiest things I ever did. When I actually called on him, and and he removed that from me, I laid it down at his feet, and then was able to leave it there. Something I'd never been able to do prior to. And then once I found God, it became a priority for me to be able to witness to um, the outlaw community. My goal is, was just to, to start an organization where, uh, number one, it keeps me clean and sober, keeps me, keeps me uh, accountable. I have a, a surrounding of guys who are around me to um, keep me on the path, you know? And it became about helping them stay on the path, helping them get out of addiction, uh, depression, generational curses, um, unforgiveness and then to go back into the environments uh, where guys are going through that lifestyle, uh, which is uh, a hopeless and, and uh, unhappy, miserable lifestyle, and just get them out and get them saved and get them into the glorious light of Christ. Most people in the motorcycle world in general look you know, badass because they're actually like using that external image to fight back against the hurts in their past. Um, and so if you've been abused physically or sexually, um, if you've uh, not had a good father figure, if, if you got beat up a lot, you might put a tough exterior out there. And so a lot of times the tough exterior is about hurt. We're not trying to make the largest Christian organization here. We're trying to make a group of men who are seriously focused on becoming solid men of God. We require men uh, to go to the next level in their faith. On the third day, he rose from the dead, and he ascended unto heaven to sit at the right hand of God the Father, for he has come to judge the quick and the dead. Uh, and so God has given me an opportunity to use these pieces of cotton here as, as, a, as a worm that I'm wiggling as bait to bring men into going to the next level in their spiritual faith. The kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and violent men grab it for themselves. You have to be engaged in a violent fight against uh, sin in your life. You can't just like, you know, well, I go to church once a week. You've got to be serious about your faith. Hi, I'm Ronaldo Wynn with Game Plan for Life, and you just heard from the guys from Disciple Christian Motorcycle Club. And they shared some of their intimate stories, how they struggled with sin and addiction. They felt the most important way to overcome that was through accountability. And the only way that they were able to take their faith through the next level 
was by being accountable to their brother in the Christian Motorcycle Club. So I ask you that question. If you have questions about how to be accountable and to overcome some of those struggles in your life, go to chapter 6 in the Game Plan for Life book where Rabbi Zacharias talks about overcoming those sins and addictions. If you want to be able to go to our website for a free copy of our Game Plan for Life book, go to GamePlanForLife.com. Also, you can get a free New Testament study Bible.